Welcome everyone to Las Vegas, Nevada and this home for sale behind me here. We have a two-story home with a three-car garage, has a next-gen suite, a pool, and we're out here in South Henderson, 89002. If you're not familiar with the next-gen suite, it's essentially a separate living space in the home, has its own entrance from the outside, its own kitchen, own bathroom, own laundry, and this one's particularly big. This home overall is actually very large, 3,479 square feet, four bedroom, four bath. That does include that next gen suite and it's listed for $750,000. So I'm gonna need your help today. On paper, inside, everything looks good to me. I don't know why this home's still on the market. So I wanna know what you think. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna to tour this home top to bottom, find out why you think it's still on the market. I wanna hear all of your opinions and uh, find out if maybe it's the right home for you today. I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Follow me inside, let's check it out. All right, here we are, Las Vegas, home for sale with a pool three-car garage, next-gen suite, and we're out here in Henderson, Nevada, 89002, the home built in 2018. I love the curb appeal on this home. It does have solar. The solar is going to be a lease solar, so we'd have to look into the actual lease to see you know, what kind of deal they got. They have mature landscape here. I love this little walk-up entrance. To the left there around the side, you're gonna have the gate which is the forward swinging gate with the mesh required by the pool. But you're gonna have that next gen entrance over there that we're gonna check out in a few minutes when we get to the garage. Three car garage, all one bay. I love the stonework here. The colors are great, kind of muted tans, browns, a little bit of terracotta from those bricks. And then yeah, just a paver walkway up. Listed for 750,000, that's only $216 a square foot. So there is going to be a lot to see here. And yeah, let's just walk inside and take a look. Little courtyard ish area. You do have this lockable gate here if you want to keep people from going farther than this. And then a little covered patio here as well. Place for a couple chairs and a table. And they do have solar screens as well in the home with this security screen door also. About the time of the year where you can leave the front door open, have the screen door closed and just let the breeze flow through the home. Still pretty hot for September, but we're getting closer, I think. All right, let's walk inside. All right, as we walk in here, you can kind of see the pool in the back. We'll get there in a few minutes, so hold tight. Also, if you wouldn't mind, just leaving me a quick thumbs up at the bottom there. Everyone who's watching this, just hit that thumbs up if you like my tours, like my work, and encourages me to keep, keep coming out here every single day doing these tours. So the next gen suite, that's gonna be that separate living area with everything you need, all inclusive. We're gonna check that out in a moment. We have coat closet here to the left and the door into the garage. So let's go ahead and start out in the garage since it is in the front of the house, right off of the front door. We come out into the garage, you can see 10 foot ceilings. Once you step down into the garage, there is a, a little step here that I'll show you. So you have the step there coming down, all the paint colors for the house, extra tile, extra things, we love to see that. Room for your trash cans. We have a water softener there uh, with the salt brine tank, the water heater, and then yeah, 10 foot ceilings in here, large three bay garage. We have garage door openers on both of the doors here. Expansion tank on the water heater. Essentially what that does is we have extreme cold and extreme heat here in Las Vegas, so that tank will actually expand and contract with the weather and just keep the pressure off of your actual water tank. We have the drip pan as well as the PVC pushing the water away from the box there in the event of a leak. And then these two posts that are cemented in just so you don't accidentally back into your water heater. So nice safety feature here, the water softener unit. And then we have this eight foot door heading out to the back area here. So you can see beautiful paver work. And this is gonna be the door going into that 
uh, next gen suite right there. They do have the ring doorbell set up on both. We have a gas stub there. And then this will be that gate we saw from the front. You have your irrigation control box there. Epoxy floor here, so you could mop this, clean it up pretty well. Uh, built in 2018, the epoxy floor can't be that old, so it should clean up real nice, be all shiny for you. Now, when you do mop these epoxy floors, eventually you do have a little bit of staining from where you pull in and out every day. That's just to be accept, uh, expected. And then we do have a plug in there for a wireless, not a wireless, I'm sorry, an electric car charger. Well, I guess they are, the cars are wireless, but yeah, the electric charger there, the plug in. So yeah, a lot, of, a lot of extra little features we're gonna see in this home. Let's head back in. So this is gonna be your main living area here, living room, I'm sorry. Uh, living room here. So living room, formal dining to this side. So you'd have your table there, maybe a couple chairs, a reading room, little area here just to hang out in. Then you have your family room on that side, your kitchen back to the left there. We have a nice tan color on the wall with a little bit of gray in it, white baseboards and trim. We have a natural kind of espresso wood look for the railing on the stairs. And let's go ahead upstairs and then we'll check out that next gen suite in just a moment. Kind of a brownish gray carpet. It seems to be in pretty good shape here. Maybe could use a shampoo. I would always recommend getting a deep clean, getting the carpets clean before you actually move in. We walk upstairs, we have this large loft area. Nice light gray blue on the wall there. And you will see there are solar screens on all of these windows. They look nice from the outside and it will keep the sun from blaring in here when you have the blinds open. Skip trout texture on the wall, ceiling fan, and your entertainment wall here. Nice tube there for cable management so you can have the floating TV with two plugs. I like to see that over the single plug, as well as your coaxial. Primary bedroom off to the right, we'll head down the hallway. So here we will find a very large laundry room with plenty of storage. So look at all this storage, linens, everything you need. This is about, I would say six by six, maybe seven by seven in this room. We do have the nine foot ceilings upstairs, which is great. Washer, dryer, refrigerator come with the home. We have a great Electrolux built-in massive refrigerator downstairs. Another great upgrade. Plenty of storage in here. You do have the sink. Nice countertops. So yeah, let me know. Why do you think this home's still on the market? It's actually been on the market 146 days. I can't believe that. I'm looking around here. It's always priced, but I feel like the price seems reasonable. This is going to be your smart panel here. Has all your gadgets, your internet, everything there for you. Cat six throughout the home. And then we have a couple bedrooms back here. You're gonna see some built-in storage here in that same dark espresso color. I missed a light switch, of course. I always miss one. And there it is for this video. Seems like every time I try to get every light switch and somehow I'm just, I'm taking in the house, thinking about things, and I just, I always miss one. All right, so we have the closet there, double slider, ceiling fan. The high ceilings definitely make a difference when you're upstairs. Nine versus eight feet is a big difference. So this is going to be bedroom number one that we see. We do have a Spanish tile roof on this home. They got built in 2018, so everything is at least six years old or newer. 
And here we have a very light lavender color on the walls. You can see that skip trowel texture. Same countertops from the laundry room here. Chrome faucets with the white overmount sinks here, a big mirror, medicine cabinet to the left, your towel rack, and then door for the water closet, shower tub combo. This is gonna be a fiberglass enclosure all the way. Great for cleanliness because you don't have true grout lines, which is awesome to keep clean so you don't have that buildup or mildew that happens in grout sometimes in the showers. And then a really large deep tub as well. They left the shower curtain for you. Custom shower head. Yeah, so that's gonna be the full bath that's shared between these two bedrooms here. Speaking of two bedrooms, Let's check out bedroom number two. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Thank you for being here. If you want to support me and support my channel and these tours and my business, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up real quick at the bottom. Leave me a like, lets me know that you like my videos and it lets YouTube know that you like my videos more importantly and they will keep promoting me. So thank you so much for that and leaving that thumbs up at the bottom there. Walk-in closet up here. So the other bedroom just had the standard closet. This one's gonna be the walk-in, plenty of racks. Two tiered for hanging your clothes. And the home has not been freshly painted, but the paint is really nice on the home. You barely see any kind of signs of life. There are a few here or there, but yeah, the paint job is great. Just some touch up and you saw those colors in the garage so probably easy to find the right color and touch it up we do have a upgraded thermostat the honeywell with the wi-fi and that will bring us into the primary bedroom very large primary bedroom 18 by it says 11 but i'm going to say 13 or 14 it seems way bigger than 11 across three windows looking in here Ceiling fan, plenty of light. It's fairly bright in here with these colored walls. They are kind of a darker brown color here, a little bit of tan. But they are, it does have a lot of light with the ceiling fan, which I like to see. So your entertainment wall is going to be over here. Feels like your bed should be there, but I guess the bed would be here if you like to watch TV. You don't want to look sideways. Completely up to you, lots of options, but they do have that Smurf tube here in the wall for the cable management, a couple plugs there. And we'll head over into this primary bathroom. Next gen suite coming up soon, we'll be there in a moment. So you're gonna see the same countertop go into the tub area. It's a very large soaker tub. We see chrome hardware basically on everything. The rain frosted glass window there for privacy little vanity here you put a little stool do your makeup and the dual sinks on either side and then more of that same countertop here going into the large shower we have brushed nickel on the shower head there with the wand a little bench gray speckled tile on the floor there and you got about a five inch threshold stepping into this shower. So you do have the shower tub separate here. Towel rack, you're gonna have your water closet back there. But yeah, look at this tub. Very wide, very deep. Water closet with the door, the toilet, not much doing in here. They might've had the same photographer I use cause they he does little tricks with the toilet paper like that. That's definitely from the photographer. I mean, if I had to guess. And then this large walk-in closet. Two, uh, uh, two recessed lights in the ceiling. That looks like an awesome shoe shelf there. And then plenty of space to hang clothes up. You're about, uh, gosh, 13, 14 feet long here on this closet. And two tiered as well, like we saw in the other closet. So yeah, a lot to uh, 
a lot of space to hang clothes, fold clothes, put your shoes in. So a very functional, large closet here. So that's gonna be your primary bathroom and bedroom. Listed for 750,000, let me know what you think of the price. $216 a square foot, 3,476 square foot on the home, four bedroom, four bath with this next gen suite and that pool that we're gonna to get to in just a moment. Head back down the stairs. And yeah, it's time for that next gen suite. Then we'll check out the family room, the kitchen, and we'll head out back to that pool. Very inviting pool. Give you a little sneak peek there, but let's head back here. Oh, first we're gonna see bathroom number three, just a guest bath. So it is a four, four here. The tile is gonna be a 14 by eight. Stone look tile there. This room's gonna be in a blue, kind of a teal color. We have that dark wood cabinet for linen storage there. Same countertops we've seen, overmount sink and your toilet. And then that will bring us to the next gen. So this door here is basically the door that's gonna separate the home from the next gen suite. You can see by the little dot there, it locks on the inside. Some people like to lock it on the outside here to not let those people into the rest of the house if maybe it's like a renter or something. Um, but yeah, we walk in here. So this is the next gen suite, nice red power wall there. And this is gonna be kind of your main living area, eating area, kitchen. So you're gonna do everything in here except for the bedroom's gonna be back there to the left. This is a very good size room here. Uh, your entertainment wall's gonna be back here. Again, you have that Smurf tube, the coaxial, a couple plugs. So you could have your table in the center here, the couch kind of where I'm standing. You do have a window out to the to that area we were in when we came out of the garage there with your front door being over here to the left, the separate entrance. The dark wood cabinets, different type of countertop here. We just have this granite countertop. This is gonna be a GE profile. And what it is, it's a microwave and convection oven. So you can bake in there and you can use it as a microwave. So it's a dual function there, all in one. We have the stainless sink. And then of course the refrigerator. Very clean, stainless, ice maker, and or water dispenser. So everything you need in here to live. We're also gonna have a little laundry room back here to the left. And this is gonna be your foyer entryway. Electronic keypad coming in. You have another one of those security screen doors on the outside, but that's your front door and your separate entrance to the hall. Take one quick look here. And again, you can lock this door. Oh, and we have a cabin, uh, a closet under the stairs there. We'll look at in just a second. I missed a second light switch. A third light switch, what am I doing? Wow. Oh no, that one was on a timer. That was not me. That is actually on a sensor there, motion sensor. Yellow on the walls, that same countertop, sink set up here, mirror, and then a fiberglass shower here. This is a three quarters bathroom because it does have the shower, but no tub. All in fiberglass, about an eight inch step going into there. And then you have your linen closet back here, kind of a tight angle. But yeah, that's gonna be your linen closet. This bathroom kind of reminds me of a daisy or a sunflower there. And then over into this bedroom. So good sized bedroom here. We have a door to the right that's going to go out to the pool. So that's easy access to the pool area in the backyard. Ceiling fan on high. I guess I turned that on instead of the light. Walk-in closet here. Good size, about five by four on that walk-in closet with three tiers of shelves and racks to hang and fold clothes. This can be your entertainment wall with the coaxial down there. No Smurf tube on this wall, but you do have the plug up high. And then this is gonna be your laundry room here. 
So you have the stacker, washer, and dryer do come with the home. So again, everything in this next gen suite that you need to live, you can rent it out. It can be the mother-in-law suite. It could be, you know, one of your children if they want their own specific space. A lot of options here, family members, whatever you want to do. So that's going to be the next gen suite. Very popular these days. A lot of new construction have those next gen suites and just a closet under the stairs. I didn't mean to slam that door. Don't know my own strength sometimes. All right, so that's gonna be most of the house. Let's head over into this family room. So again, this is gonna be the dining room area. A little separation between the dining room and the rest of the home over here. So that same tile throughout, this is gonna be your family room here. So we do have, again, that entertainment set up, the cable management there, the plugs up high. I also like that there's two plugs on the sides here as well, because you really can't have enough plugs. I mean, it's nice to have one when you need one. Little doggy door that is permanent there. Now, if you don't want a doggy door and you want to buy this home, pretty inexpensive to have that drywall to have the outside uh, stuccoed and textured. So not too bad to, to remove the doggy door, um, easier than installing it. And then we have a 12 by eight slider here with three panels and they're gonna open all the way up to here. So you have the extra wide eight foot opening. Dining room area, beautiful granite island with the plenty of seating there. You could fit four or five stools. Probably don't want five, that would be a little overkill, but they would fit. Um, interesting to see a little Desk area here, being that it's 2018 build. Um, we don't see that very often after like the early 2000s, but hey, it's here. And then you have a beautiful backsplash as well, this tile. Um, that would be my sit down coffee station, I think. Massive electro, Electrolux refrigerator built in. Now the thing with these built ins, they're very wide, but they're not very deep, which I actually like because what happens is, is you don't lose stuff in the back. You have those really deep, big refrigerators. You have stuff all hidden in the back. Really not gonna have that problem here. You have plenty of width and then yeah, not enough depth. So that's actually a good thing in my opinion. Little countertop here. We have the pantry in the corner, all wood built out shelves with the light, no wire racks here. I get some negative comments about the wire racks and pantries and closets. We have the five burner gas range in GE profile with the hood, very modern looking hood and that beautiful backsplash in the tile. A kind of a brushed nickel, clear, then a granite look to it. Swinging around slowly to this island. We do have the GE profile dishwasher here and stainless. Stainless two basin sink, the brush nickel faucet. We have a double oven and a microwave here. So that's great to see. Not only do you get the microwave, you also have the hood exhaust vent. So that's very cool that they didn't kind of do the over the oven. So that's an upgrade for sure. GE profile, GE profile. So let's always check the top oven, very clean, which means the bottom one's gonna be even cleaner. Looks like it's almost never used. So very nice kitchen, recessed lighting. You can see that skip trowel all over the ceiling. I don't know if you can see that texture, but done very well. And then of course your little kitchen nook dining area that for some reason they like to put right in front of the slider. I'll never get that, but I'm not a home designer. So let's go ahead and open this up. We're gonna open it up all the way just to kind of show you. Oh, it slides real nice too. Sometimes these doors can be a little heavy. Not the case here, very, very easy to open. There is a plug in the floor there as well. And then they have vertical blinds and a dark brown with a texture that cover this whole area if you'd like. And that brings us out to this pool. So we have a large covered patio. I don't know that I've seen many pools that come under the covered patio. So they are working with a 6,098 square foot lot and somehow they got a pool in here. So not the biggest pool, but definitely um, 
You can get wet. It looks to be fairly deep over on this end. You can even do some laps, hang out there, have a drink, chat. Uh, and it does have that really nice dark pebble texture on the bottom. This is going to be the door into that next gen suite there. They have lighting out here with all of these trees along the back with the retaining wall there. I wonder what's in that hole. Let's go take a look. It's kind of an interesting little area. Um, nothing. Okay. Uh, if you can see that I'm standing up here high, but yeah. So that's going to be it. There's plenty of pavers out here. The pool equipment's going to be around to the left and then just yeah, this paver work all the way around. Down there is going to be the gate and the entrance into the next gen. Here's your home. If you want a backyard that's easy to maintain, easy to take care of, and you get a pool, you get that next gen suite, $750,000. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave me a thumbs up, a like at the bottom, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.